What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris and Dave got a brand new product review we're going to do today my friends. This is the Butterscotch Cream Soda Flying Codrum my friends. Butterscotch beer. Yes, non-alcoholic. They make sure to put it on the packaging really well where you can see it. It's also written on the bottle in several places. This is, uh, this is a magical brew. Mm, we'll be judged that. It's also gluten-free for you people that have to have gluten-free stuff. I don't really prefer gluten-free stuff because most stuff has got gluten-free on it. They usually run the product like Cocoa Pebbles, my childhood cereal. Why'd y'all do that? It tastes like crap now. <laughs> but anyway, it also has uh, it's um, GMO free. Whoopie D. <laughs> All that healthy, healthy stuff. You didn't mean yucky, yucky. But anyway, hey, we're going to be the judge of that in a minute. We're going to pop into this. This right here uh, sells for mm, around about $5.99. It's kind of a, a little expensive, I guess, but it is a, you know, a crafted name cream soda, so... The Flying Cauldron. Rip off from Harry Potter. <laughs> Four pack costs you about $5.99 in a local store here, grocery stores. So we're going to just twist off the top because that's what it is. Like so. Like it's magical. Look at the magical smoke coming out of that. Can y'all see that? Woo. Okay. <laughs> Get over it. Pour it up like a beer, Chris, because you know how you like to do stuff. It's butterscotch beer. Cream soda. No alcohol, my friends. Van Ar said it and ain't been written all over the bottle in the packaging to make sure you understand that. Smells like butterscotch, my friends. Smells pleasant. I mean, if you like butterscotch, I guess you would if you brought a butterscotch cream soda, butterscotch beer, non-alcoholic. Let's give it a little tasty, tasty. Mmm. Kind of what I was afraid of. Give it another little taste. Okay, honest opinion time. Is it yucky, yucky, or tasty, tasty? Final Chris is yucky, yucky. And the reason I'm gonna say that, stick with me. If you like Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Coke Zero, and you like butterscotch, go grab you some of this. I don't like Diet Coke, I don't like Coke Zero because the aftertaste it leaves in your mouth after you drink it. I like regular Coke, the unhealthy stuff. <laughs> Yes, I know. I'm South Sea Georgia boy. We like unhealthy stuff. Butter and all that good stuff. This butterscotch flavor hits you in the mouth real quick and it goes away. But it's, the carbonation is really strong in this. Yep. Carbonation. Butterscotch is there. This would have been a lot better, I think, if they had went just hardcore. Pedal to the metal and just poured, you know, made this overly sweet with butterscotch flavor. Creamy. More creamy. It says cream soda. It's not real creamy. It's more carbonated and diet drink tasting. Maybe that's, you know, maybe that's your thing. So I'm going to just do it, do it like this. I know Chris gives us a thumbs down. For my viewers out there, I'm going to say a thumbs up. Try it. If you like diet sodas, Coke Zero, products like that, you may love this product. I mean, it's worth a try. Um, but if you're going for a creamy, rich, butterscotch flavor drink, you're not going to be happy with this. I'm going to tell you. The butterscotch, I mean, nope, it's not for me. Like I said, I'm not going to just say it's a crappy product if you like diet soda taste and drinks. This may be for you, just not for me. For $5.99, I'll find something else on the shelf I'd rather drink. I would not purchase this again. Um, give it a try if you want to throw away $5.99, or I won't say throw it away if you like diet soda drinks. And you want something that tastes a little like butterscotch? The butterscotch is not. It's not. It smells better than it tastes. It's the best I can say about that. It smells better than it tastes. And I ain't saying it just because it's non-alcoholic. I'm not frowning at it. And I know y'all waiting for me to step it up a notch and hit this up with some some liquor and mix a drink out of it. Nope. Ain't about to pour my good liquor into this because I'm telling you. One more try. I'm trying. I'm trying to help it out here. Nope. Matter of fact, the more it sits here and the longer it gets a little warm, that diet drink taste is just stepping it up a notch every few seconds it's sitting in this glass getting a little warmer. Mm -mm. Not for me. Well, that's going to wrap this up because um, there ain't much else I can talk about this product. Cool presentation. Diet drink lovers, go get you one. Try it. Hey, it's $5.99. You may love it. It's just not for I know Chris. So, 
you know what you need to do. Hit that subscribe button down here, please, if you're first time here. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you don't like my review. I take them off. That's why they're there. Thumbs down there to give them to me if you want to. Thumbs up there if you want to give them to me. Bring them on. Please leave a comment. Sign into YouTube while you're passing through and say, hey, I'm not signing. Sign in to your comment account. I want to see your comment. I want to better talk to you. And as always, my friends, you know what you got to do. Stay safe. Keep tuning.